Well, gone are the days that the professionals at the Office of the Auditor General have to manually review government finances. The agency is in the process of full digitalization. Altavis Munnings explains. Digitalization is very important because um, it would make our work more efficient, more timely, and more effective. The Office of the Auditor General utilizes a software called IDEA to investigate and examine public finances. However, a software upgrade has been in the works before the COVID-19 pandemic. And now, Auditor General Terence Bastian is hoping to accelerate that process in order to modernize the way government is audited. The current software we try to do is a software that we want to input that will even do more for us, that will help us with auditing step approach and, and putting information in the system. Once the department has the information in the system, we can get it out of the system and audit in a timely manner. That is just for this office, which will help us to be able to get into other the office um, systems and information, and also will help us because the, the software will be designed in a way where we'll have the rules and laws already in the system so that when we're auditing, we can combine and see, we can see if it's following, and so it helps us easier electronically. Auditors abide by several different processes, including financial, performance, compliance, and even procedural audits. If it's a financial audit, it'll be more number-based, mm -hmm. but still it will include some compliance, some operational procedures, so therefore it's a compliance. We want to ensure that basic government have rules, regulations, laws, we want to see that when they did something, they were in compliance with that rule or that law or that procedure. That's compliance base. Also procedural base. Is it um, following certain procedures that it should be followed? So it depends on the type of audit we're doing at the time. We are no different from anybody else in, in, in the U.S. or Europe or, you know, there's standard set. And we call them international standards. We want to make sure that those stand. Plus we have um, rules set down locally by finance, by treasury can make sure that they're in compliance with those rules too. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Altaviz Munnings.